everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Well, it's beautiful here today. The sun is out, the sky is Carolina blue. It is just gorgeous. And today I am going to make some beautiful little spring flowers with sort of a grungy edge to them. And making these flowers is part of a two-part project. We'll make the flowers today and then tomorrow we'll make um, what the flowers will go on. So I'm going to show you the flowers first and then I'll show you what we'll be making tomorrow to put these beautiful flowers on. So I'm going to hold these up and I hope that you guys can see the effect that I have on these flowers. I have a crackle effect and I'm going to show you how we get that. And that's what's giving this this grungy little edge to it. And then on the flip side I did some rough dry painting just to give it um, some contrasting on the other side. But I think these flowers are just so gorgeous. So I am going to show you what we're going to be placing these on um, tomorrow. But today we're only going to make the flowers. So this is tomorrow's project. And it is this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous little bag. And I made it so that it could be carried like this. It's a really large bag. It's eight and a half across by seven inches high and I just sort of tapered it just a little bit. So I'm trying to hold it up because my lighting isn't the greatest. I don't have my replacement camera yet. It should be arriving this week. So I'm still filming with my phone, but hopefully you guys can see just how beautiful this is. And this is what we'll be making tomorrow and we will place those flowers on our bag. So what I'm trying to do is just craft spring into existence because I really am ready for the gloom and gray of winter to just go away. So let's make these flowers. Okay, so to make these flowers, I need some petals that graduate in size. And I'm using four different sizes, which will give me this look. And so I cut these out on my Cricut using um, design space and in design space I use the flower shop cartridge and I cut these out at two and a half and then at um, two, one and a half, and one and a quarter. So let me show you how I get this effect. Okay, so this overall look is just pretty ugly, pretty messy, but I've been doing some painting. So what I want to do is take my paint and I'm just going to place my darkest color down first. Okay, so I've placed my purple paint down first and I'm using an Americana paint. So all I'm going to do is take a large brush and I'm going to use a skewer to hold things down and I am just going to paint over these leaves. And I'm just using the, skew the skewer to hold it down and to also minimize the amount of paint that I'll get on my fingertips. So I'm giving it a really good coating. Okay, so all of my layers are painted. And now I'm just going to give it a quick dry with my heat gun, just to help it dry a little bit faster because I'll need to put down a second coat. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a second coat of the purple, and then I will be right back. All right guys, so all of my um, flowers are painted, and they're nice and dry, and we can move on to the next step. So the next step is we need to add this crackle medium to the top of these um, flower petals. And it's a clear medium, so all I'm going to do is place some on my spare chipboard. And then I'll come back with a nice clean brush. And I am just going to get crackle medium all over my brush. And I am going to cover this flower. And I'm going to do the same thing with all of these flowers. I'm just going to cover them in crackle medium. Okay, so I have the crackle medium all over my flowers. 
and wherever there appeared to be any pooling of the crackle medium, I went back with my brush and smoothed that out because you don't want any clumps of it. You want it to have a nice flat layer of that medium on whatever project you're working on. So um, we need to allow the crackle medium to dry. So I think I get a better effect when I leave it alone to just dry on its own. So I'll be back as soon as this is dry. Okay, so my crackle medium is dry. I have zoomed in on the petals so you can actually see the, the crackling take place as I lay down my next coat of acrylic paint. So what I'm using is this DecoArt Lilac Meadow acrylic paint for the top. And the way that the crackling medium works is once it's dry on top of a layer of acrylic paint, then the next layer of acrylic paint that you place down on top of the crackling medium will activate the medium and it'll start to crack as it dries. So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Let me get my skewer so I can hold this down. And we'll do this one. So I'm going to be very generous with the paint. And you really don't want to go over it multiple times because you start wiping off some of the paint um, that you put down and it affects the crackle. So I am going to do the next one. And then I'll come over here and just place some there. And do this tip. So then I am going to go ahead and just place some heat on this and you'll see just how this crackles. So I, got, I think you guys can see that crackling taking place and trying to keep the heat out of the out of frame so that you can see just that beautiful effect. So as this paint dries, it is going to split and it will expose that deep purple that's underneath. So let me just pick these up very gently and move them out of the way so that I can do the others with you guys. So again, I am going to come back into my, my paint, pick up some paint, get my skewer, and then just go over my petal. Move that out of the way. And do this one. And then I'm going to slide this up so you guys can see me do the final two. And because I want these to be grungy looking or shabby looking, I'm not too concerned about whether or not I have paint touching the whole thing because I am going to rough these up just a little bit more and a few. And I am going to slide these petals up and you can see that because they're already starting to dry, they're already starting to crack. So I am going to place some heat just to kind of help that cracking along. Okay, so the crackling is all done on the other side of the flower and this is the back side. So now what I want to do is I want to pick up some more of the dark purple paint and I am simply going to put it on my brush and then I'm just going to sort of dry brush it along the back sides of my petals and I am not being neat with this at all. I just want some color on the back side. Okay, so the back sides of my flowers are all dry and I can flip these over. And you can see that beautiful crackle effect in the flowers. I think that it just adds so much to it. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to rough these flowers up just a little bit and then we'll put the flower together and we will have a three set bouquet ready for tomorrow's project. Okay, so what we are going to do with these petals are the flower petals. You've seen me do this before. So all I'm going to do is I'm not wetting these because it would take off the paint. I am simply balling them up just to give them um, some grunginess. Okay, so all of my petals have been crumpled and now all I'm going to do is uncrumple them and I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to tear off any pieces. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces unraveled. And now what we'll need is we'll need one brad. And then for me, I'm adding some decorative um, lace pieces. And all I did was took some lace ribbon and just cut it into these strips. And I like three, so I'm putting three on this one. And then some flowers that I also cut out in design space from the flower shop. Um, cartridge. Now you can use whatever flowers and petals that you have. You can punch these out with a punch. If you have a, a um, leaf punch, you can use that to punch out your leaves. So as long as you have some flowers and leaves, you can make this project. You can even hand cut your flowers and your leaves. So let's put this together. So starting with our smallest flower, I'm just going to put that on. And then I'm going to add the next smallest sizes all the way up to the largest size. Okay. And then I'm going to add this one. And then before I put the last petal on, that's when I like to add the lace. So I want about this much of the lace showing and that's just my personal preference. You may not even want any lace, but I do like the way the lace looks. So all I do is just place it down where I like it and then I punch the bread through it. And then I'll put my last one down So there we've got our lace on and then I can take the very last petal, put it on, and then open up my brad. And I've got this beautiful flower that I'm now going to come back and just really open up the petals to the point where I actually am satisfied with how it looks and I think I'm at that point. So now what I want to do is I want to come in with my leaf just like I did on this one and I'm using two so all I want to do is place the leaf up here so now that I've got it where I want it I'm just going to flip it over and place some hot glue right in here. And then I'll bring my brush and just bring that thin part of the petal right into that. So I've got that one and then I want to place the other one. So I think I'm going to place the other one like this. So all I'm going to do is come back, place my glue under this petal. And then I can hold that down. And then I can turn it around real quick and see if I like the placement of it. And I do. So now I'll come back again and fix my flower because I messed it up. And then the last thing that I want to do to this flower is I want to add a cover to that um, brad center. So I am going to take some glue, just a small amount. Put that in and then I will drop this bead on top of it 
So there I've got three really wonderful flowers and I just love the crackling effect. You guys may not want to do that and you don't have to. You can just use colored paper, make your flowers and you're good. I started with plain white paper and then painted it the color that I wanted it and then I added my crackle medium to get this really grungy looking flower that I am then going to place on a bag similar to this however it will be a lavender colored bag so I think that tomorrow's project is going to be beautiful I hope you guys do make some of these flowers in anticipation of being able to place them on a beautiful bag tomorrow so y'all have a great day and we will craft tomorrow and finish up this beautiful project I'll see you later. Bye.